Hey there, it's Tuesday, it's the 9th of January, uh, well into 2018 right now, and I'm answering your questions here, just ask me anything about audio production. So if you're in the audio industry, this show is for you. If you're a voiceover artist, podcaster, radio presenter, radio producer, a DJ, uh, you just want to up your game in audio production, come along and uh, and join in with the show. Best way to get your question in is via community.musicradiocreative.com. And this show is brought to you today by my presets for Adobe Audition. Uh, let me show you how they work. There, there they are. Drop down template, select MRC, and then you can use the template that I use to produce awesome audio every single day. Processing voiceovers, adding EQ, chorus, echo, flancher, uh, strange pitch shifts, <laughs> auto-ducking music, mixing sound effects, uh, having a couple of buses to bring things together. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it's all easy to use. Uh, 12 tutorial videos come along with this, uh, plus you get the chance to experiment and create your own audio and share it with us in a secret community group, by the way, as well. So if you fancy all of that and really getting stuck into a, uh, a pro workflow uh, inside Adobe Audition, head over to mrc.fm slash presets right now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Uh, so what have we got here? Chris in Birmingham. Birmingham in the United Kingdom, by the way, not Alabama. Uh, so, all right, Chris, all right, Emya. Uh, Chris says, <laughs> how do you uh, make 5.1 or 5.1 surround sound in Adobe Audition? You know, like the uh, the cinematic kind of real, uh, real epic stuff that goes around your head. So if you're sitting in a living room or a cinema where you hear all that sound going everywhere, you can do it. It's really easy in Adobe Audition. I'll go back to waveform view. Uh, I haven't got a waveform. So I will start a, a brand new multi-track session. That's how I do it. File, new, multi-track session right here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this surround sound. Now, the most important thing, and the thing you'll notice here, currently I've got my MRC uh, preset template selected, and you'll notice I cannot do anything here with a sample rate, bit depth, or master. Why? Because that is the, uh, the the settings that go along with that template. So obviously this one is set to record in uh, 44 100 hertz, 32 bits, and uh, stereo channels. But if I then select none in template, I suddenly have all these options open to me. 44 100 is usually the, the standard bit rate, uh, sorry, sample rate uh, for recording audio. Bit depth, usually 32, is great. And then for master, we drop that down and we go 5.1. Click OK. Now we have a surround sound multi-track session. Let me show you, Chris and others watching now interested in 5.1 surround sounds, how it works in practice in Adobe Audition. Let's grab something epic and cinematic, shall we? Uh, or maybe something like that, or, ooh, or something like, oh wow, that's scary, something like this, or this, or this, or this, or this. Oh yeah, this is cool. All right, we'll have that one. So just a, a short little loop, uh, which, by, by the way, just uh, an extra added bonus here. If I wanted to loop that, right-click, loop mode on. It adds a little loop down there in the bottom left, and I can just drag this out for as long as I want. And providing it is a loop, yeah, it loops. It loops all the way through for as long as you want it to loop. Brilliant. Uh, so now I want to spin this around the audience's head, right? I've got this little thing. It's hard to see on the dark background of Adobe Audition, uh, but it is a kind of surround uh, mixer. So at the moment, that, that dot is up in the center. See, up in the center channel. Actually, it wasn't right up there. It was about here, so in the middle. You can move it center left, center right, uh, back right, back left, all around, wherever you want. But it's really hard to work with that tiny thing. So you can double click it, and then over here, you get the track panner, which is amazing. Let me show you how this works. Uh, so again, I'm just going to pop this as central as I can, about right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to start this audio. Um, Actually, what would be really good to do, let's turn snapping on, let's just snap this back to here, okay, is to loop this round and show you how it works. So loop mode on there, play, and then I'm going to move this around your head right now. So if you're listening in stereo, this will be really apparent to you. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, going to the right. Going all the way to the right. Yeah. Going to the back of your head now right to the back of your head. And the further we move this in, the more the audio spreads out around you again and encompasses your head. 
and there it's back in the center channel. Now, the way I like to describe the track panner is just imagine this big circle here is a human head. So where do you want the sound to appear to be coming from uh, when it's playing? So with music, yeah, you can obviously move it to the left channel. That's the left, that's the right, that's back right, and that's back left, and that's totally, totally behind the listener. And actually, if you're wearing headphones now, you will almost feel like this audio is coming from the back of your head, which is really strange. And then move it back, back in front again. There you go. It's playing in full in front of you. It really is magic. And as you can see, when I'm moving this along, radius is moving. Uh, the center, you can obviously move the center around as well. LFE as well. Uh, these are all moving depending on uh, where, where I have my track, the angle, the stereo spread as well. We can really spread that out around there, do all kinds of things. It's, um, it's a crazy kind of thing. Let's just move that back to how it was. Uh, but yes, it does look rather pretty, doesn't it? Um, so enough with the music. Say we're doing like an action movie or something like that. Let's just go back to my media browser and I'm going to go to uh, some of the imaging effects I've got here. So if I go into one of these, uh, let's get an effect, something like something like this. Uh, say, uh, you know, some action person's uh, phaser is going off. So at the moment that's kind of dead center, but then I can say, okay, I would like this to be uh, coming from the, the, the left, narrow left here. That's coming from the left, that's coming from the right, and then we can spread it out. Or move it to the back right. Now it sounds like it's coming from behind you, from the right hand side, or from the left hand side, or right the way from the back. Let's play that. And also you can you can write on automations here. So maybe if I get something that's a little bit longer in duration. Uh, let's go back and find uh, risers. That'll be a good one. All right, let's get this one. Kind of like a takeoff there. Whoa. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this automation on. And the way you'll be able to see this working now is if I go down here to this third one here, and from on, I go to touch, and then we're just going to move this around the head as we play back like this. Okay, so as you can see, I went a bit crazy there. Now, what touch will do is eventually return everything back to neutral when you finish. Uh, so now I can switch that off, whereas right will not return things back. Uh, that's an important distinction to make when you're writing automations in Adobe Audition. Uh, now, how do I know it's worked? Well, if I twiddle this down, let's twiddle this down and look at some envelopes. Uh, we'll look at the pan. Whoa, look at that pan going absolutely nuts, just like I was. Um, so this was something I was writing in real time. Uh, again, radius is something else going on as well. Uh, and you can see everything everything you want to see that's happened with the uh, surround sound. It's all data that's recorded there. Again, I could re-record that by going back to touch. And we'll do it again. So now all of this uh, data is going to be affected. So watch it in real time. We, 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 whoa. Nice. And then stop and see, new data has been written on. Everything that I did, as long as I've got touch or right enabled, uh, depending which which your preference is, uh, will be recorded there. It's a bit dark, but you can kind of see it if you highlight the uh, that area of the track. And then, of course, you can uh, mix this 5.1 surround uh, information down. And as you will see, uh, you get five channels there as well. So you can really see uh, what's going on and what, what audio you've got playing on the various different channels. Uh, so 5.1 surround, something absolutely possible in the waveform and multi-track view of Adobe Audition. Chris in Birmingham, hope that helps you out and others as well, how to create 5.1 surround sound audio in Adobe Audition. As you can see, it is a piece of cake. I'd love to hear from you, by the way. If you'd like to ask a question on this show, go over to community.musicradiocreative.com. Get your question in. Let me know what it is about audio you would like to know on this live stream. And I will, uh, if it's a good question, I will definitely get it in the running order to feature uh, at a later date on the live stream, which is, by the way, from 6 p.m. UK time, Monday to Friday. So make an appointment to tune in. Usually these streams go on for about 10 or 15 minutes and we cover 
get right to the point and get into the uh, the fact of just answering your audio question. And remember, if you want to delve deeper with audio, uh, do go ahead and take a look at my Music Radio Creative presets, which are the presets I use to produce audio. Uh, so you don't have to worry about setting up your multi-track and getting your workflow correct to make your audio sound great. You can just get straight to work on the fun, creative stuff, and you can get them right now at mrc.fm slash presets. <laughs> 